everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge and welcome back to my channel. This is something a little bit different this time around. It's not called a collab, it's called a link hop. I had never heard of such a thing until Michelle at my Everyday Wife Life reminded me what it really means. Um, so basically we are doing a series of healthy meals you can prepare in less than 30 minutes and everybody's doing something different and at the end of this video I will link you to the next person and then you'll go watch her and she will link you to the next person who will link you to the next person and then eventually it goes back to me. We're all doing one recipe and none of us is doing the same recipe. I picked today a healthy meal that is meatless because a lot of you have asked me to do meatless recipes. Most of the time when I cook something there's meat in it. Why? Because I got three guys in the house and uh, they like meat. <laughs> so, well, I do too. Uh, but they, they like to have chicken and they like to have pork and they like to have beef and they like to have fish. So I am doing a vegetable recipe. Uh, it's a Mediterranean um, flavor. It's a zucchini with feta cheese, oregano, and a dash of lemon and a few tomatoes and onions. So I'm going to show you all of the ingredients and we'll get started. So I'm supposed to show you a quick tip um, and I thought about it and it just so happened that I just reviewed a new mandolin um, vegetable slicer and I gotta tell you it makes it super easy super fast and less mess so we'll use that to slice the vegetables um, but first what are the ingredients and here goes to make my zucchini uh, dish I have three zucchinis by the way zucchinis you want to grab them as small as possible these were the smallest ones at my store and they look sorry looking right well it's winter they're not really in season in New Jersey right now can't wait to have my vegetable garden running but zucchini is generally speaking you want to pick them as uh, you know no thicker than this and uh, no longer than that that's when they have the most flavor after that they're just full of water and seeds so we have three zucchinis I have two tomatoes doesn't matter what kind of tomato you get. You can also do cherry tomatoes if you prefer. I have one onion, but I'm only gonna use half of it. And one lemon that goes at the end. Of course, I have feta cheese. And this one is Dodoni, uh, the first selling brand. This is um, cheese in brine. We'll remove the brine. And I have fresh oregano from my garden. Now, oregano is just like thyme or rosemary, it's a perennial, so it will come back every year. And you can still collect some or harvest some in the winter. So this one is fresh. It's been frozen because we had a lot of frost, so I'm going to just wash it to revive it. But fresh oregano is preferred. Now, your zucchini, you can prepare whichever way you want. Uh, if you want to have zucchini that is sliced, you can. If you want to do it as a julienne, you can. If you have a spiralizer, use that. If you want to do zucchini noodles instead, I'm going to keep mine sliced, but I'm going to make them uh, rather thin. So I'm going to change the setting oops, on this to make my zucchini almost paper thin. Why? Because they're gonna cook faster that way. So here we go, slicing the zucchini and then I'll slice the onion and the tomatoes.
some of you are probably wondering, well, how come you're not giving us measurements here? Because I really don't use measurements, you know? You know how much olive oil you put at the bottom of your pan, and you know um, how much feta cheese you're going to want. Because feta cheese is not an easy thing, to me at least. So one pan of feta cheese is enough for this recipe. So what am I doing? Um, olive oil. I'd say about, I'm going to give you an approximation, uh, about three tablespoon maybe, not too much. Let me add a little bit more. All right, and I'm going to start by putting some coarse salt in it. A good, um, not a lot because it's feta cheese, okay, but just a little bit. All right, we don't want it to be too salty. What we do want, however, is pepper. So I'm going to put some pepper on there. All right, I got nine turns. This is really just for me and Scott, by the way. The kids, maybe Edward will try it. I don't think Willie will ever get near this. So all I'm doing now is basically cooking my onions. And I'm going to uh, wait for my onions to become slightly translucent, not fully cooked, at which point I will add the rest of my ingredients. The last one to go is the tomato. Why? Because there's salt in here and what happens when you put salt and tomato, all the tomatoes juice comes out. So you end up having a lot of liquid um, in your dish. That's why some people like to uh, extract the pulp from the tomatoes. It allows for the tomato to keep its integrity and not start getting all mushy. So I'm going to wait for this to cook. And of course the feta cheese goes last with the lemon, uh, but for now, it's going to be in this order, onion, zucchini, then tomatoes, then the oregano, then the feta cheese, and the last one is the lemon juice. Because this recipe makes it Mediterranean, not just because there is feta cheese in it, but because you actually use the entire juice of one lemon over it, and that's what gives it a nice zest. It's a great balance with um, the feta cheese. So I'm going to give it a good eh, eight minutes to become a little bit translucent. Then I'll dump my zucchini in there. What I'm going to do is lower my heat a little bit. I'm not putting it on low, but right before low. And I'm going to cover it for about five minutes. Once in a while, I'm just going to come in and give it a stir. So once you see that your zucchini is starting to soften and it's almost and is almost cooked, add your tomatoes. And the oregano. Give it another stir. cover for another five or so minutes. So at this stage what I did is remove the cover because as I mentioned earlier the tomatoes are starting to lose some of the juice because of the salt in it and uh, I don't want the dish to be too liquidy. 
I'm just going to dump all of my feta cheese in there. I don't really like the word dump. <laughs> it's more like adding the feta cheese. All right. There's really not much cooking left to do. You can get crumble feta cheese, by the way. And the absolute last ingredient to go is the full juice from a lemon. Good stir. I don't want it to stir it too much because otherwise the feta cheese will come apart and then I'll have some kind of white soup in there. And that is it. Less than 30 minutes. So here's a tester in chief. Go ahead. What do, what do you call this? A ratatouille? No. No? I don't even know. You know what? The truth is, this is a summer size recipe I picked up a long time ago from Susan Summers. Yeah, it's good. I like the feta. You do? Yeah, of course I like feta though, but yeah. This is good, right? Mm. It's got this Mediterranean flavor to it. Um, so if you're doing keto, yeah, or if you're doing low carb, um, this is perfect. It's very good and healthy. Now, I don't like to cook my vegetables too long. I like to have a little bit of crispiness to them. You know what? I can't tell you if it tastes like Mediterranean food. Well, because you don't really know much about it. Well, you like Greek food. Yeah, I like Greek that food. That could pass as Greek, right? But I've never been to the Mediterranean, so, you know, we got to fix that. No. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, this is great. I like it. All right, come on, let's go eat. It it's smells late. delicious. Yeah. I would put more oregano, but I didn't have much left in the yard, so. Yeah, it's really good. So if you don't like um, feta cheese too much, I don't know what kind of other cheese you could put in. Would you do it with goat? Yeah. I would do it with goat. Goat would be nice. But I tell you what, you don't really taste the feta cheese like when you have it cold. Uh, in like a Greek salad, for instance. It's absorbing all of the other flavors and the, um, like I mentioned before, the lemon really ba balances it nicely. And I guess it took out some of the saltiness too, right? Because it's not salty at all, just enough. I love this recipe. So this was my healthy meal under 30 minutes. And now you're going to hop, link. Her link is down below and you can go and check out her healthy recipe and from there you can hop on to the next lady doing the same thing a healthy meal in 30 minutes i didn't do dessert um because i really wanted to keep it under 30 minutes and this takes a little bit of time a good 20 minutes or so uh, of cooking um to let it simmer and get all the flavors together so i hope you enjoyed this recipe let me know down below if you've tried it come back and let me know what you thought about this recipe until then enjoy the other ladies healthy meals under 30 minutes and I will see you next time. Don't forget to um, click that button down below to subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I don't just do cooking. I do cleaning and lots of decorating and DIY, gardening, sewing, lots of different stuff on my channel. I can guarantee you're going to find something somewhere in there that will interest you. But go check out Kenya first. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't.
You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.